Ah, gamers these days. They're so wrapped up in terrible games. They don't realize they've been fed the same bullshit over and over and over again. Games should have substance. Games should have class. TAKE THAT, COCKSUCKER! Like the old Atari games. <laughs> now those are classics. Most of them didn't even keep score. They made you keep it on a piece of paper or something. They left a lot to the imagination. Uh, most games did, mainly due to the graphical limitations of the system. Well, yeah, but are they good games? Well, they're pieces of history. They're the first and only of their kind. But are they good games? They're fragments of the past. We wouldn't be where we are today without them. Are they good games? Okay, yeah, they were worse than shit. But that's what led to the decline of gaming in the 80s. That and the super fast advancement of technology. And that was the main problem. I mean, people had their toasters for 50 years. They weren't gonna buy a new console after just six. But the market was revived by the bit wars. You know, 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit. What was a bit anyway? Well, no one really knew. <laughs> but the more, the better. It was an age of really great games and really weird commercials. Can you repeat the question? Jaguar! 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 It's the Legend of Zelda and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ghana are pretty bad. Octorox and Tech Tech's levers too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. They must have had some impact. I mean, sometimes I still break out the Genesis and throw in some Sonic 2. Ooh, still gives me the chills. Ah, Sonic 2. This is my favorite game. Shit! In any case, Sega made some poor decisions, and Nintendo won the majority of the market. It was around this time in the early 2000s when gaming was at an all-time high. Sony came into the market by developing the PlayStation and PlayStation 2 in direct competition with Nintendo, who were developing their iconic N64 and GameCube consoles to compete. People started taking games seriously. It was a new type of media, a new art form, a new market. More than just the toy that it was thought to be before. Even Microsoft ended up breaking into the market with their Xbox. It sold like shit, but they have billions, they don't care. Soon, games started becoming something different. They started becoming works of art. I mean, take Shadow of the Colossus. Okay, we'll give it a try. The amazing music and spectacular visuals make this truly a thing to behold. And when you finally fell the giant beast, you're not rewarded with power or experience like you would be in any other game. Just the stinging pain of a life cut short and the hollow sorrow for what you have done. Well, you're right. This is pretty good. Exactly. It's difficult to predict what the future will hold. But we can find solace in what we have experienced and felt in these games. It's comforting to know that we can relive our past with the press of a button. So when you flip the switch on your own past, it's not about the hardware, it's not about the wrong. It's about what you feel. Thanks for watching.